Hey guys, so we're on our way over to George's Train, so I figured uh, this would probably be a good time to do a channel intro and uh, tell you guys a little bit about myself. So my name's Tim, I'm 33 years old, I'm pretty sure you guys don't need to know that one, but that's okay. So my very, very first train set, I think I was 11, 12 years old, it was uh, plastic all around, plastic track. It was a plastic black steam engine. You know what? I can't remember what it was. It was so long ago. And uh, I love that thing. I used to set it up underneath my dining room table. And I uh, used to have it go around the track. Do, you know, do its thing. I used to have it. But my very first, very first train set was a HO Bachman train set. Uh, obviously, it's a freight freight train um, can't remember I think it was a GP 38 and then it came with like three three cars plus a caboose so that was that was the intro into the into the hobby and then later on um, probably when I was in my early 20s got into got into it pretty good with my brother um, that's when we did digital. The, the, that atro, that atro scale that I got when I was uh, 11, 12 years old was analog. But with my brother, we ended up doing digital. Made a massive, massive atro layout. It was like nine feet by eight feet. It was pretty big. We never got to complete it, um, but we did get the styrofoam down. We did get the tracks laid down. We got to run trains a bit, but we never completed it completely with the scenery and all that. So. And then, what was it two, three years ago? Two years ago? Yeah, about two years ago. Uh, bought my first N scale train. Three years ago. Bought my first N scale train. It was the Nada, uh, Nada, Noreda Express by Kado. And the um, reason why I got into a N scale was because not a lot of room. I don't have a lot of room to do HO, and you need quite a bit. N scale, the beauty of the N scale is that. You don't need a lot of room uh, to run uh, to make a nice size layout and to run lots of trains and long, long trains. So that was the main reason why I got into N scale. Um, then there, yeah. So when I got the Nareda, fell in love with the detail from Cato. Lots of detail, very, very gorgeous train. I should, you know what? I should uh, do an inventory video one day, one of these days. So. Ended up uh, going down to a hobby shop with the family. Picked up some used Bachman track. Made myself, you know, I bought uh, like enough to do an oval. And got home that day. Set it up with my with my kids. And we all fell in love with it. And ever since then, started buying N scale. Got into uh, N scale pretty uh, hardcore. So my inventory now is sitting at what, like I think 20 trains, not including the freight cars. Freight cars, I think I'm sitting at like 40 trains. It's not a lot. But uh, it's a good one. And uh, what I am doing, you guys have probably already seen, I have like three or four videos already posted about starting a model railroad. And I'm going to be, I already have one, mo uh, sorry, one layout already done. Uh, not completely, but pretty close, maybe about 90% done. But I am going to be starting another one. And that, that one is going to be a modular layout, which means that you can put it together. Watch my other videos. I explain a lot about it. Um, yeah, so those videos that are coming up and that are already posted is literally a start getting into the hobby, choosing a hobby, which is my very first one, getting into model railroads right through to doing layouts, layout planning and all that jazz. So guys, want you to subscribe, want you to like, also follow me on Twitter at NSModelerTim. Whenever I get my trains or anything else that I do, before I do reviews, I usually take pictures, put them up on my um, my Twitter account. I also have my Twitter account hooked up to my YouTube, so whenever I post new videos on my YouTube, it sends out uh, Twitter feeds to let you guys know that I have uh, a video up on my YouTube. So, I don't know what else to say. If you guys have any other questions, uh, Ask me down. Put them down in the comments below. Uh, same thing with uh, comments and um, 
suggestions about the layouts. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling here, guys. I'm really sorry. Uh, my last video that I just put up, or one of them, I think it was uh, number three. Yeah, it was number three, episode three. That one, at the end of the video, I had kind of like a, hard war a heartwarming talk with you guys. Like I said, really stepping out of the bubble with this one, especially with <laughs> showing my face. Uh, this will probably be the last time you guys will ever see my face talking to you direct. I don't know, maybe. I might do more video vlogs. This is my first one, so like I said, I'm a little bit struggling. But uh, we're on our way to George's Trains. So we're going to do a little um, day at George's Trains type of thing. So uh, enough with the talking, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Like I said, hope you guys subscribe. Hope you enjoy the videos, and talk to you later.